Hey YouTube, today I'm going to talk to you about my HK P30L Tactical. So I'm going to explain that tactical. Let me grab my pencil. Alright, so what I mean by this, tactical, HK absolutely offered the P3L tactical, but just not in the U.S. market, but I wanted it anyway. So I'm sure I could have purchased it somehow, but at a premium, and I already had um, an idea of what I wanted to do, what I wanted to take out and replace, so I figured why not save money on the front end, so that's what I did. And I found a guy that was uh, advertising his. He was uh, selling for a great price. Now, you know, if it was a good price, I probably had to forego something, right? And what that is, is that this did not look as good as it looks now. It was uh, pretty rough. He had put it down through there. He definitely trained hard with it. My magazines were beat to hell, but it was all right. So, um, to get started, what I did is I ordered that HK factory extended threaded barrel now at the time this was a little bit over a year ago it was hard to get these you actually had to get on their waiting list and act fast when you were notified i did and i was happy about that um now what is in here that i want to make sure i <coughs> mention is the recoil absorber uh bushing it is huge i mean it's like four times the size of any other bushing that i've seen um, I mean, it looks like a little can in there, <laughs> but it does its job. It's definitely soaking up the recoil because this is a sweet shooter. Um, there's also a compression spring in there that butts up to the guide rod. I hadn't seen that either. Um, it might be in the P30. I don't know. I've just never seen it before. Um, now, what I am going to do before I go any further is clear the gun, okay? So, I'm going to drop my magazine. Um, so, talked about the barrel. Let's move on to the trigger system. What I decided to do, this is why um, I went the way that I went, because I was going to do all of this to it anyway. I went with the Grey Gun Short Reset Trigger System, had that installed. I wanted also um, <laughs> the straight Grey Gun Trigger. It just, you know, it looks really good to me. I've, I wanted it. And so uh, when I had that installed, I also had them remove or replace all the springs associated with the firing system. So like um, all of the reduced weight um, springs that are gonna make this trigger extremely soft because the Grey Gun um, SRT system, it already is supposed to reduce the pull by 33%. Well, I was just trying to make it butter, right? So that's what I did. Um, literally every spring in here has been replaced except for this magazine release. Now, what I will do is I'm going to show you that reset. Now, the trigger is so smooth. And um, on the double action, you really can feel it. You can feel the difference. Now, single action is already short, but I still can, you can tell a little bit of difference. Now, um, I, I do have to speak on this trigger. I wanted it, okay? Um, I'm not crazy about it. I can take it or leave it. Uh, I don't like how it juts out as much as it does. I thought it was going to be a little bit more, yeah, but it's all good. I mean, it doesn't stop me from um, hitting my targets, you know what I mean? But it just wasn't what I thought it was going to be. So... Um, I'm going to move on to my handle. So the grip panels and the back, um, the back strap, they were worn down too. I replaced those. Um, and then I just had a little bit of customization of color um, done to it so it can match my light. Then you have my slide stop. Um, it's distressed. I like that too. It just adds character to it, man. Just, it's a good looking gun. Um, but this right here, I'm going to tell you these sights now i have always had the three um the three the three dot system i'm sorry i couldn't get it out and i was a little bit hesitant about going with this right but these are the met pro the raised met pro light night sights right it's 
it puts you in the mind of like a rifle, the, the scope, how it works with the four lines to get you lined up and get your uh, dot there. What makes it awesome is that you literally can use these with both eyes open. Now, I will say this. To get my sight picture, I do have to use one eye, but then I can let it go. I thought that was pretty cool, man. So if you get a chance to get these, don't be too hesitant. Um, try it out. You know, it's not a gimmick. It, it really does work well. So, um, yeah. Oh, let's not forget this finish. So let's talk about the slide. It is the Hostile Environment Finish. HK's Hostile Environment Finish. Now, all of the guns, all of the guns have this. Make sure that I hit everything that I wanted to. Oh, what I did want to tell you, that HK has a lockout system that I, I wasn't aware of until I was reading through a manual. But you can, um, you can make it where the gun doesn't fire, right? And it's located in the hand well and it's a little key in your box or whatever. I thought that was cool. So I think that that is it as far as the gun, but I did want to uh, mention to you about my ammo. Um, now, my practice round is the Lawman 124 grain, full metal jacket, and then my, because it mimics um, the gold dot. Well, well, excuse me. This is P2 um, <laughs> plus P, yeah. Uh, I've never had a problem with it, so I'm going to keep riding with it. Um, now, you probably already knew this about the gun, that when it first came out in 2012, it was a 15-round magazine, right? And it's flush. Well, HK re-engineered and got a 17. Now, most of you guys probably already know that, but I felt like it was worth mentioning. So, um, I really enjoy this gun. Now, I used it uh, to train. You'll see in the video, I did a lot of training on this one. And um, I wasn't happy with my day one, with my pool. It just wasn't what it needed to be. It wasn't the gun, because even with me not setting my grip, um, I still was knocking it down. I mean, it's a really good gun. So, I, you know, I thought that was worth mentioning that even if you're not fantastic, this will make you look fantastic. Yeah, um, it's, it's just a badass gun. HK shooting team, they choose this as their competition gun. Um, and, you know, it holds the record of 90,000 rounds, I believe, fired with no damage or um, replacement parts needed. So just, you know, some fun facts about it. And I, yeah, I think that is it. I think I covered everything. If I didn't, I'll pop it up on the screen. But I'm gonna let you get back to the video. I hope you enjoy the rest. I will see you next time. Did well. I enjoyed it. Hey YouTube. So I'm back here again with my HK P30L. Um, I'm gonna get some more training in. This is day two. So let's put it down through there and see what we do.
So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I think that's drill number three, four, not sure. But yeah, HKP30L. This is Tactic Cute, and I appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video.